Hello and welcome back. We are in Yucatan. We can start this episode with building our first ship line. So that is going to impress our opponents, hopefully. And it doesn't certainly impress our population, which is in full riot again. And we have already a police station there working on that, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, and I think we can safely say that at the moment everything's fine here and we have no real invasion or something like that and we can soon start with our canned food production and the sewing uh, machines uh, once we have a bit more money so our income is quite good at the moment 3000 and of course we want to keep that so I can now finally get the rum working so before we finally do that let's get a timber production in Bucastle over here so first of all I want to have another warehouse and then we can have those lumberjack huts once again so having like hmm that's okay and another one and another one and three sawmills for that very nice so that we have a better wood production here in Newcastle that is the first important step and the second, of course, is to get a few more, a few more houses. What was that? There was some shooting. Oh, I see. He's shooting on the other side. <laughs> so he's shooting over my town to those pirates over there. Because of the long range. So that's a pretty cool thing. So this one here can attack the ships before they arrive. Very nice. Alright, let's have some more conaleros here, and I'm also going to remove those lumberjack huts here and sawmills, because I don't need them anymore here. Now let's also get rid of the streets here. So I can continue with my town, like so, to get some more conaleros that we need. And they're really cheap to build. And we've also reached a new step here now, the town. So Bucastle is our town, is a town now, our first town in the new world, and it won't be the last, certainly not. A few more houses here, I think this is a cozy little town now, and what does a cozy little town need? Of course a fire station, so let's have one, let's have one actually here in the middle. Like so, very nice, and some more buildings here. Looking good and all. And our cozy little town also needs... Well, I think we should make our Juanaleros happy before we let them work for us. So, fried plantains. Sounds about right. And for that, we need um, fish oil, plantain plantations and the fried kitchen. Or the fried plantain kitchen. Well, that is quite the name. So, um, right now, I want to have those productions over here so fried plant in here for example and rum would be on this side here um, and that's about it what i can do on this island so we do have couchuk i know we need couchuk later on and the only real thing that we need from the new world right now is rum for our population to make them more happy and of course to boost our income we are at 9000 now i'm glad to see that and my Juanaleros also want a church now we've just unlocked this so let's build one Church is pretty important and it's a very small building, so I think we can even a competitor's island is under sea. We can even, you know, leave this building here alone. So we on we only need yeah, one one building that we need to destroy. And we build it right here in the middle so we have a full influence around it. And of course we need to wait again for a bit of money. And we even have a bit of time to enjoy this beautiful, beautiful water here and our ships in the background just totally in love with this game still even after I think 70 hours that we have now on it and there's another attack on my harbor but of course with only two frigates this is not going to work out for him so as you can see he's going to lose a ship there and that's it so that was a Sorry attempt at my reinforced harbor by now, or he didn't expect it. 
And we certainly do have some money now for those, for that canned food. And we, I think we, yeah, we can also build the variety theater. So let's do that first. It costs us quite a lot. And we finally have this beautiful and very expensive building that should make our artisans even more happy and boost our taxes by quite a bit again. And yeah, we can even afford some trees now here in the background while we do that, while the riot passes by and our police is hard at work. Here, perhaps we should have a second police station somewhere here. That would be a good idea. And right, one of them, this one here needs the upgrade. This one has one. No, only one in queue. That's, ter that's totally fine for now. We can leave it at that. So I'm not doing anything here then. We're just waiting for the ship of the line. And we're also close to a second ship of the line then, right after this one. Very excited for that. So we can have a proper defense here. Okay, let's go for... Well, the rum is coming soon. Sewing machines and canned food. That would be... And there's the first fire here. And let's also have the chapel here real quick to make our Honolaris more happy. And there's also a quest. Let's have a look at that. A photography quest. We have to take a photo, help the resident by taking a photo of the Honolaro family. Let's do that. It's an easy quest. Let's submit it. And we do get a fur plow. That's cool. So that's increasing the productivity of 25% for our yeah sugar cane. Why not? So we can have more rum or our plantain plantations then, if we want that. But we still need to wait for a bit more wood here to get over that over that river there. That would be a uh, nice, nice to have. Let's just wait for that a bit. And we still have to, uh, a, few, a few things to do here. The first thing is we need a bit more iron ore. Okay, so we have the sewing machines that need steel. And we have the canned food, which is iron. So I do have a lot of iron ore here, but only two iron deposits. So I definitely need to import more iron ore. And the second question here is then, should I waste the space here for another steel works to get more steel? Or should I do on that? Should I do that here? And I favor that. Yeah, let's let's have a steel production here up and running so we can then transport that. Because we do have two iron deposits here that we can use. And we just need a bit more bricks, that's all. Let's mobilize the police station there as well. So let's take my schooner here. I already have some bricks on it. And what else do we need? Yeah, bricks primarily, I think. There's a ship of the line coming into my territory. What she's doing here? definitely need those ship of the lines. Yep, and we have a second one in queue right away. And let's get the bricks here now. Do I need more? I think I need more for the steel. Yeah, let's get some more bricks now that I have them and get them to a bit fresh. Oh, I need to wait on that. There's a ship in of the line here in my territory. Two frigates wouldn't be enough for this ship. Look at that. She, she's going to be my first victim once I have my fleet ready. No, I can't do that. Let's get away there. Come on, people, move. It's going to be amazing to have my ship off the lines. Okay, you can continue now again. Embrace my bricks. There they are. Okay, 
sailing away again. Hopefully far away. Let's get my bricks there, so I want to have a second steel production up and running soon. That means more weapons, that means, uh, means that I can have my sewing machine production. Yeah, we'll do that on Vilfresh as well, I think. Oh no, it needs artisans, so the sewing machines need to be on New Catan. I can't afford having two artisan towns for now. And we still need to wait on the riots to end here anyway. But it doesn't really affect our tax income that much. Yet. At least we got some good money there. And... They are trying. But look at that ship of the line. They are so strong. I think this, this ship here could single-handedly destroy my ships here. Not a big threat at the moment. Let's focus on the Honoleros here and our triplantine production. So let's get the the bridge here over that. Wait a second. Does it look that good though? Yeah, it's that's those stupid rivers that cost us so much. But I need to have the bridge there. Like so. And then we are going to have a warehouse here. Okay, and then we have the fright, the plantain plantations, not the fright, but plantain. One, two, three. I think three is enough for now. And we also need three fish oil factories for that. Oh, and the ship of the line is ready. That's big. Your people are rioting. Okay. And we also need three kitchens. Like so. And then we have the first production here. And my ship of the line is ready. Let's get that to our fleet. Look at that, she actually got an island here now. A drop in the ocean. Oh, and she left something there. Let's get that. There's some, there's a ship of the line there, too. No, we can't afford a war there now. Second ship of the line is already in construction. And by the time we should have a third one available. But now she's got a few of them. Look at that. Incredible. I don't know how they can do that so quickly. You know, like it's 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 kind of hard to justify that. It's just way too too fast the way they can um, build them. Look at that! How long it takes for one ship of the line to get finished? Yeah, we've lost all our ships now except the ship of the line. Okay, at least they're turning around now. I need to build more ships. I need probably have a second shipyard and get more weapons up. Let's go back here. We should have some fried plantains by now. Yeah, very nice. So that is filling up now. Let's also get a few more Honoleros here.
Now I need to wait a bit so it's filling up so we get more workforce here. And then I'm going for the poncho and then we can finally start with the rum production. But transporting that rum to the old world is going to be a whole other beast. But I've only got one ship of the line now. Let's get a... Well... The shipyard cost me 12,000. I don't know if I want to afford that. Let's go for the canned food for now. So three kitchens. This is turning into a revolution. And then we also need that beast here. Costing us 15,000. Seems like they lack a marketplace, but the market is here. But I think there's a riot on the market, so... That's a problem, obviously. Let's get that iron going, though. I can't wait on that. We need more iron. That's that, and a charcoal burner. So there, there's our production here and then we can have two furnaces that we need for those two iron mines. Let's wait on that for now. Or should we start with it? I think we start with it. Let's not build those factories too close to, to each other, otherwise they're going to explode again. Oh, where's their shipyard? 10,000, yeah, we can't afford that, the second one. And it takes just so long for this one here. We can build a third one then, after this one's finished. Three warp the ships of course are nice, but not that strong. Okay, there's nothing I can do right now. I just need to wait on that. We have the canned food production though, up and running now. So we just need to for the gulash to come in now. So that's being produced here. And let's upgrade that warehouse there as well. And they are producing now the kitchens. I uh, know, we cannot increase that too much. But I can't allow that to happen. She's always coming now into my territory here. Uh, it's, it's a problem. Let's get another frigate after the Man of War. It's faster to build and... 
faster to build and I can build more of them. Okay, back in Bewcastle, let's have the poncho production. For that, I need to build another bridge. Your streets are safe again. At least the ride is over. Okay, so there's the rum production somewhere here, and poncho is rather easy, so we are going to have another bridge here. We built the bridges now, they're expensive, but once we've built them we don't need any more now for quite a while here. So that's okay, and Poncho won't be needing that much anyway. There it is, so we need some alpaca farms for that, and then also the Poncho maker, and then we have everything the Honaleros need, and then we can start with the rum. Let's mobilize the fire station here. And there's the next riot, or still a riot. Nope, it's over now. As I can see, there's no fire station down here. Okay. And steel should be coming in here now, then soon. Yeah, they want the church. I mean, we are we are actually able to build one, so we could do it like that. Let's build a church for our people here. Otherwise, the riots won't stop. There's the church for a little fresh, and. We have to wait a bit now for the population to regain again. Let's build some more here. Workers for now. Very nice. So the steel is, is working now. Being produced. The second man of war is coming to an end soon. Oh my. This is a constant battle for survival here right now. But we've done everything here now. Um, we should have the canned food now. Yep, perfect. So it's filling up now. Very nice. So we are producing, and I think we can have a second cannery as well. One won't be that much, so we have lots of vegetables here and beef and goulash. Let's wait on that for now, but one cannery is probably enough anyway. Yeah, we can increase it by 50%, that doesn't increase the unhappiness that much. And it's only for the artisans, and the artisans should be, uh, they're still happy. Okay, and rum is coming in as well. So sewing machines is the only other thing now. And swing machines, we do have steel, do we? Yeah, we do have steel, but not enough. More steel is coming in soon, and then we can have the swing machines. And I should also look out now for the fur dealer. So in Well Fresh, we have fur abundance and a lot of space. So either there, or we take this island here, which I think I'm going to prefer. So I think we're going to take this one here from here. I can't allow it to have one island here of my enemy. And then we can send some ships there, get this island here and build our fur production here. Because I, I don't want to waste space here and build fresh. There's just not enough going on. Very nice, my second man of war. And we have a frigate now that's being built as well. And the weapons then are ready for the next man of war. The fire. So at the moment she's kind of, well, it seems occupied by something else, so she's not trying to attack me for now. Oh, and there's a new quest. A destruction quest, oh my. Yeah, let's take it for now. I need to destroy two frigates. I do have two men of wars. And they just spawned here, look at that. They just spawn right beside my ships. But we should 
we should be able to destroy them since my harbor is already doing something. Yeah, they are attacking my harbor building, but that don't think them any good. So we should be able to do that mission here that nets us some nice profit. Very nice. While this is happening, let's build the poncho production. So we need some alpaca farms. Let's start with three. Uh, hope, let's hope I have the space. Oh, they need four. Okay, then that's not going to happen here. Two there. But then we can have another alpaca farm here. And then the Pontrodarna, three of them. Okay, very nice. So we could upgrade them now. And there's the proof that we destroyed them, or, well, our harbor destroyed them. Let's take the proof of destruction. And get it over to Archibald, then he's waiting in my harbor, very nice. nets us some money and I think we are going to use that money to have a second shipyard which is going to be crucial so we would have one shipyard for the military ships then only and one shipyards just for our trading ships that we need for the fleet we can increase that to 50% without um, reducing the happiness very nice Okay, so we've stabilized that kind of a bit, and we've made quite some progress here, so... Our Honoleros, we can soon upgrade them, if we want to, but first we're going to do the rum production next episode. Stay tuned!